Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. We are starting today's video with a quick grocery haul to pick up some things for the week. Just some asparagus and carrots and bananas. Things for the week. Some lunch meat to make lunches for my son. Some soups since it's super cold here that all my kids definitely feel like they want soup now and again. Some cereal and applesauce some root beer for a treat and of course apple juice milk coffee creamer a soda for myself to drink today while i am putting everything away some christmas brownies and our coffee we drink the vanilla nut cream it's so delicious it's hazelnut and vanilla mixed some tootsie rolls some christmas tootsie rolls and a few things for baking i just needed some cinnamon vanilla and some of course brownie mix and I got this awesome mixture of peppermint chocolate um, chocolate chips our vegetables for the week just steamable and some pastas more things for baking some crushed candy canes our pasta so I can make macaroni and cheese for my son it's his favorite some easy uh, turkey pepperoni and mini pepperonis for my daughter. She loves those. Some Alfredo sauce. And then our cheeses, our sour cream, our shredded cheese, Swiss cheese. Some slices of ham for my son. He loves those in the morning. And then our ground turkey and our chicken breast. And now that that's done and put away, I am going to just tidy up the kitchen. This is a quick Sunday clean with me. Just doing a couple of things to get the weekend done and wrapped up and ready for Monday. It is the weekend after Thanksgiving. And so as I can imagine everyone else's, we are very sluggish around here from all of the yummy food and laziness that we did over the weekend or over the week. And we just don't want to come out of it. But because we have the week ahead, it's time to get back to normal life, at least for a couple weeks until Christmas. So got groceries for the week, putting everything away, cleaning it up, and then I'm going to move on into our bedroom to fold laundry and to get that all tidied up just so we can feel like our life is together and Monday won't be so bad. I'm so glad that all of you are here today for cleaning motivation and I hope it inspires you to get all of your things done and ready for the week ahead. After we got home from the grocery store, I think I probably cleaned for maybe just a total of one hour after the entire Thanksgiving of cooking and doing all of the things. It was just exhausting and I did not have the energy to do a bunch of tasks like I normally do. I will get the rest of the cleaning done during the week. but. Just wanted to start off with making sure counters were done, our room was done, and sometimes that is just what you have to do. You have to do the bare minimum to get you through and use the time to spend more time together and relax instead of pushing yourself too much to get every last thing done when it's not really that necessary at this time. And so I encourage you guys that if you are feeling overwhelmed or you're feeling like you have a zillion things to get done, just start with the bare basics to get you by and then move on from there. There are many days of the week to cram in some cleaning and some tasks that you need to get done. They don't always all have to be done at the same time. As far as putting things off. This laundry is from before Thanksgiving, so it's been sitting here for four days. I'm finally gonna fold it and put it away. I turned on a Hallmark movie on the TV in here, and I'm just going to use this time to try to relax. I will tell you guys, even though I fold laundry on my bed like this, my back just starts hurting after standing here for a while. This is two loads of laundry, so to fold two loans of laundry, I definitely felt it in my back because 
you know, old age is a real thing. <laughs> so I uh, wish that I could find a different method to my madness as far as laundry, but I definitely know that it helps me in so many areas of my life to stay on top of this. It's just not always possible or I don't always care enough to do it. I do, however, enjoy folding the laundry while I have a show on because I can just zone out and listen to it and not really think about what I am doing and just get it done and then I blink and it's over. I think this probably took me a total of 25 to 30 minutes to do, so that's a, about halfway through a show and it was very enjoyable even though my back was hurting at the time. So happy it's done. I'm sure that I have more laundry as I'm recording this voiceover. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Stop for traffic lights. And I... So as I said, this is a Sunday after Thanksgiving. I am doing this in the late morning. And I just have to say, comment down below if this is what's happening to you. But since it is so dark so early now, I am done for the day, tired and in pajamas by 6 p.m. I just feel like it's nine o'clock when it's six and I am struggling with trying to fit the same amount of things that I would normally do into that amount of time. In the summertime, I look at the clock and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so late. We got to get started with our nighttime routine. But now I'm like hours early doing the nighttime routine because it just feels so late. Is anyone else struggling with that? Comment down below and let me know. Jumping from cliffs so high trust in our wings to fly sometimes we're crashing down but we get up and start from the ground and i i really want to know really want to know if i let me figure out where the road goes even if i'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down The clock runs out Sun is shining But the rain is welcome too Friends are nearby Don't need another view Time is not on my mind But then it's you Oh, I love it when the love comes around And then I remember All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up Wake up I'm not ready Let me have another day Don't wait Cause I'm happy, I'm not gonna wait No, no, not yet Whoa, no, not yet Whoa, no, no, not yet Whoa I'm afraid I'll end up nowhere I am very fortunate that my husband makes our bed every morning. I wouldn't say he does a 
perfection job every morning or we sit on it throughout the day and need to just come back and tidy that part up but very happy that he does that for me and then I can just focus on other things for the day. So right now I'm just going to wipe everything down. It does get really dusty in here, fingerprints, sometimes we eat in here so there's food on the counters and things and I just want to make sure those are all wiped up. And of course it's always nice to start with the blinds open so you don't feel like you're working in a dungeon. My daughter loves the blinds closed in every room right now and I absolutely hate it. <laughs> it drives me nuts so I'm really excited when she is out of this phase. My husband doesn't mind. He likes it either way but I love the fresh light to come through and I even like it when it's dark outside to have the blinds open. I don't know why. I just feel like it's more cozy and more homey and that some of the outside comes inside which I enjoy. My daughter is still wearing her Halloween costume a month later. She loves putting it on and running around the house still wearing it. So definitely got my money out of that. But my dresser does become a collect all space. So I'm just going to put her items away and get this last space wiped off before I do a vacuum and it just feels so nice when I walk in here and my own personal space is tidy so I'm glad I took this time today to do this and spent a little time relaxing watching my show while I completed a task that needed to be done. I keep referring to watching a show in here but it's because my husband bought a new TV and put it in our room. It's gigantic. He wanted to put it in the living room and I kind of vetoed that idea. So it's in our room and it feels like a movie theater in here. <laughs> so I am very much enjoying it and happy that he did that. I really hope you guys liked this quick clean with me and kind of a weekend reset to get started on the week ahead. If you liked this video, please hit the big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.